I'm Andy Kikidis. I graduated from the Civil Engineering Technician and Civil Engineering Technology programs at Humber College, and currently I'm a director at Metrolinx. This is my Humber story. Some of the key takeaways from Humber are that I learned the value of having a good mentor. My first one was a Humber professor. I've also learned the value of giving back. I've learned the importance of hard work, teamwork, the ability to collaborate, the ability to problem solve, technology, understanding how it works and how you can use it to your advantage. And all of these are part of studying engineering, and they also happen to be the skills needed for great leaders. I joined Metrolinx at a time when the organization was looking to transition into more commercially astute business. And so I was hired as the head of commercial at the time. In addition, I've held positions as the head of contracts and the head of capital finance. We've established program management offices, built the organizational governance, helped with leading change management, worked on major organizational transformations, and restructurings and developing target operating models. The organization is nimble and not only responsive as it should be to the public, because it really is there to serve the public, but it's also proactive. So it helps build in you agility and resiliency as you take on the challenges of the day. Really, the great thing about government and public sector in general is that it gives you an opportunity to really appreciate the variety and the breadth of experiences that you can have. The one thing it really did do for me, though, is refine my political acuity. It taught me the difference between the correct answer and the right answer. And the difference really is the correct answer is the technically correct answer, one that can be derived through analytics and tends to be one dimensional. The right answer, however, requires a multifaceted approach to developing it. And yes, it requires, of course, of course, the technically correct answer, but it also requires taking into consideration socioeconomic factors, human factors, equality, opportunity creation. That's why all decisions really need to be multifaceted because society and its needs are not one dimensional. So it's about having the right skill set, and engineering provides that. But it's also about helping advance your industry and doing things differently, you know, being a positive disruptor. And that's not always accepted with open arms in industry. And sometimes you need to be resilient and agile to be able to navigate through those rough waters and even course correct at times. In order to do that, I've used the concept of a trusted advisor. Really, that includes being credible, being reliable, knowing what keeps your, the other party up at night, and having very little self-focus. In order to have very little self-focus, you really have to surround yourself with people that are very different than you. So people with different life experiences, people with different backgrounds, different views and perspectives, people that will respectfully push back when required. Diversity really is the key. So surrounding yourself with people like you will only really tell you something you already know. Those qualities and traits that allow you to be successful start with being able to deliver. Because really, ultimately, no matter how successful you want to be, you have to deliver something at the end. It's also being able to connect and involving people and being able to treat people fairly and provide meaningful challenges for them. It's also about collaborating, being diplomatic and having political acuity and being transparent in how you work with others. In addition, you have to be able to inspire others, not just by what you say, but how you act as well and how you treat them. You have to live the values and the vision of the organization and you have to be able to empower others while you're doing that. You also have to remain authentic at all times, and that means being accountable. Well, there's a very famous saying by John Burroughs that says, a person can fail many times, but they aren't a failure until they begin to actually blame others. So you have to be self-aware and courageous to be able to address those things. You have to have a future mindset to be able to transition from the tactical to the strategic. You have to thrive in changing environments, which means you also have to learn, learn how to handle the speed of change. You have to also be a positive disruptor, ask questions, challenge assumptions, be willing to learn and move forward, be willing to innovate and be resilient and agile while you do that. And it's about being inclusive, which means being people-centric. Seek diversity and really confront bias and systemic barriers. Education really is the key to unlocking unlimited possibilities especially when the circumstances in life make you feel as if there are no other options. Humber was the first step in unlocking the possibilities and opportunities in my career, and for that I'm forever grateful. Engineering has served as the foundation for some of the greatest leaders in the business world. Allow yourself to see where it can take you. I'm Andy Kikidis, and I'm a proud Humber grad.